storm oh, brewing here. Storm brewing. I gotta get this GoPro. One sec. Here we go. The start of something big. Look at the size of that Paku. That one's going in. Listen to his noise. We got a big carp. This is the carp that I was talking about. Look at that. Oh, flying Paku! Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this fish. Look at the size of that thing. What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video here. Today, it's the day. You saw by the title and thumbnail, it's transferring fish day. We're getting all the big monster fish from there and putting them into here. A lot of days and lots of hard work have led up to this moment right here. We bought this pool pond, it arrived, we set it up. I've never built one this big, so I gotta look at the direction. After setting it up, we did all the filtration on it. We have received our box. It is on. Come on, I'm like, oh, oh, there it goes. And today is the day we now take these monster fish and get them into there. I am so stoked for this moment, and if you are just as stoked as I am, make sure you drop a like. Let's get into it. I just wanna take this moment to appreciate the flow in this pond. We got the aerator over there. We have this flow right here, which you guys saw me setting up in the filtration video. Hopefully you watched that. And then I actually added, you see the second black pump down there? There's another pump. I added this one in strictly for circulation. There's that left pump right there. That one just literally has a little bit of tubing up this way, and you can see the flow. See it pushing? And it's literally just pushing around the pond. Funny story, I actually ended up having to take all the water out from the initial fill up. I mean, that yellowness just got worse. The iron in the water was so bad, I had to use my house water that had the iron filtration system on it to then fill that pond up. Now you can see it's crystal clear. So we're good there. Uh, the turtles, let me give you an update. I like to show you guys uh, all this almost every single video, so you stay updated on it. Last video, we purchased mollies and platies for the pond. See them? Oh, look at them all. There they all go. We not only got fish, but off camera, I did a complete 100% water change on the turtle pond right here. Look how clean this thing is. The bottom has no mulch on it. Just, just literally crystal clear. The reason it gets mulch is because when they come up here, which I just refilled it, they get mulch on their, you know, body, and they walk in the water, and that mulch comes off. So every once in a while, I got to do water changes, but these suckers are. Oh, looking good. Look at that one. Enough of that stuff. Y'all clicked on the video for this reason right here. The plan is, let me give you a rundown. Look at all these monster fish. Big red tails, gars, tiger shovel nose, hybrids, which is a red tail and a tiger shovel nose mix equals that. All these fish right here in this algae filled pond are going into this right here. So we have to then take out the water with this pump right here. It's like a fire hose connected to a giant pump. It takes, it'll take out all this water in probably five minutes. That will have the water level low. We're gonna get all the fish out. We're either gonna grab them by our hand because I don't wanna net them. It messes up catfish's fins if you don't have the correct netting. We'll figure all that out when the time comes today. Walk them over to that pond where the water temperatures are obviously the same. They're both out on my patio. So walk the fish over from there and place them into here. This is gonna be very challenging funny and very interesting at this all at the same time once all these fish are out the plan is to get every drop of water out of here scrub it with my handy dandy scrubber scrubber schnubber yep that thing once you get all this algae out fill fresh water as i pump all the nasty water after scrubbing out and then fill it back up with water clean the filters make this thing crystal clear which then i'll bring the oscars the jaguar cichlid the Paku, the gar, so that it's easier to feed because you know the catfish rip the food out of the gar's mouth all the time and it doesn't allow the gar to grow as fast. So I'm gonna put him back in here when I do bring all the Oscars and stuff back into here. So most of the fish that eat like pellets and growing fish are gonna be in this pond, and all the monster catfish that need more room to grow are gonna be in this absolute hoss of a pond right here. Makes sense? Perfect. Oh my gosh, do you understand it was on the pool pond? If the camera would have just tilted this way, it would have been right in the water. Now, this is not a one-man job, and unfortunately, I have a very small circle of friends. I don't have any friends, let's be honest. But that's okay. So I've got to make a couple phone calls and either find someone to do this with me or do it alone. Any of you want to come help? I almost just dropped my camera again. Look, the gimbal broke. That was the pond. I need to just go inside right now. I'll catch up to you when I figure out what the next step is. Psych, I have a friend. His name is Chad Smith. One friend. One. I just have About one. About the only one. Yeah. Um, but we're here today to do just what I was just explaining. We're gonna get the fish out, but the first thing we need to do is get the water out. All right, the first thing we need to do is put the pump in the water to then extract the water and put it into the grass. Here we go. 
the start of something big. Oh, ma, they're trying to eat it. That's not what you want to eat, this, I promise. All right, holy moly. There we go. Holy moly, the thing. The pump is going and it's not gonna take long. I'm not even kidding you, probably five minutes to get this completely down to like that deep. We want it deep enough to where Chad and I can go in there and literally scoop these fish up with our hands and then walk them over and put them into that pond. It's not gonna take long, it's just gonna be kind of a challenge to get the right handle on these fish to bring them over there. This is sick, you like Gary, you like the stream? Yeah, it's cold, I know, yep, I know. Look at the stream. This is pulling water down, the ducks are loving it. As you can see, all the peeping, the sweetest peeping, the Muscovy. Literally a fresh stream going down right now. Filling up the yard, literally. But yeah, we are, I mean, this pump is an absolute hoss. Like, if you don't have one of these and you have a pond, much needed. Look at our jag cichlid going back there. We're gonna see all sorts of fish. Our plecos are in here, our albino plecos. Some big tilapia that somehow got out of my hand as I fed the fish. Kaku platinum red tails right there. This is going to be absolutely insane and we're about three minutes away from getting to work here. It is time, look at all these monsters. Just basking, pretty much. I gotta get in, it's gonna be very, very slippery. Yeah, it's pretty slippery. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's so slippery. All right, we're in. We're about ankle deep. The water's still coming out. We turned all our pumps off. Look how nasty the algae is in here. Oh, flying Paku! What the? We got a bucket right here. I think our goal, what you should do. Smaller fish first, first I think. In the yeah. Bucket. Got more Paku right here. Oscar's right here. Look at all the fish. Holy moly. Oh. All right, there's a pool net right there. Chad, if you want to grab it, see behind the orange yeah. bucket. Perfect. Oh, that's the one. All right. Uh, that, that's more so like that yeah, that one. The one to the right. Yep. The Hey Boots, what's up bud? Boots, you wanna help us? I'm gonna be filming, scooping, and then I'm gonna put it like toward the bucket. So let's get all the Oscars and Paku and stuff. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, that's the carp I put in here. Oh, jeez, it's gonna be hard. Got an Oscar. There's one Oscar. And I'm like shuffling, cause I don't wanna step on a thousand dollar catfish. There's a big old tiger Oscar. <laughs> I got one in my eye. On my face, all over my arms. It's gonna be a dirty job. Look at the red tails backs. Oh my goodness. You guys are last, but I gotta get these Oscars out. The Paku. Look at the size of that Paku. Oh my god. This thing is absolutely insane. Like, I'm six foot and it's probably five foot tall, 15 foot around, but uh, let's get these fish in. Look how pretty. And in they go. First one in the new pond. Wow, are they gonna be happy in this thing? Massive tiger, Oscar. Look how pretty that thing is. There it goes. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Woo, baby! <laughs> we got lots more to do. A lot more to do. We got two Oscars in so far. A little Paku, let's get this little Paku in. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh! There we go. Dude, that is nasty. I'm so glad we're getting this done. Look how big this Paku is. Absolute monster. Oh, this is the most like efficient way I feel like that we could do this without harming the fish. At the end of the day, them flopping in that net might mess up their fins, mess up all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Monster. Paku. That one was a fighter, holy moly. See you later, bud. Don't flop like that other one, please. Ow. He cut me good. But he's good, look at him. He's like a little dart in there. <laughs> Ready guys? This Paku is massive. It ain't gonna be an easy task. Ready? Don't kick, don't kick, don't kick, don't kick. Right in. No! It's so much harder than it looks, I promise you. We got a big carp. This is the carp that I was talking about. Look at that thing. I don't know what kind of fish it is. Get a good shot on that, Chad? Like, what is that? I mean, beautiful, beautiful fish. But look at that, here we go. I just love how you can see the fish. We never were able to see them, and that's just like, so big. think about living in a box, pretty much, and then moving into a large box. <laughs> Let's get these Oscars out. Oscar number one. Look at that Oscar, bro. Completely like, there's two. This is my albino pleco. Beautiful. Is that thing beautiful or what? I've had that for a while, it's gotten real big in here. 
So I told you today's video is going to be pretty much based on us walking from one pool pond to the next, but with monster fish as I hold a pleco. Yeah, big fish. That sucker is going to be gorgeous. Don't go in, Paul. <laughs> Get the right shot. All right, we're good. That's a dope angle. These are the slimiest fish of all. Beautiful, though. I mean, beautiful. See ya, bud. Look at that fish in the light. Off he goes. We're making progress. Like, we're, we're moving very quickly. Faster than I thought, but we do need a rush because the catfish are in there with barely any water. And we, uh, we got a little storm oh, brewing here. Oh, storm brewing. I gotta get this GoPro, one sec. Oh! I got it. <laughs> so pretty. Looks right. almost like a triple tail. I love how relaxed and chill you are, bud. I like you. We're kind of just going for whatever we can scoop here. We got another Paku. These suckers are crazy, though. Got him. Here's the big Oscar. Nope. Oh, look at the size of that Oscar. That's probably the biggest Tiger Oscar I've ever seen. And that got a lot bigger. That was never that big. All right, cool. That is a Jaguar cichlid, a Paku, and a big owl Tiger Oscar. So. <laughs> Fellas, I don't want to be repetitive. I'm just showing the same thing, but it's literally what we're doing. So I'm trying to do my best. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video. Look at the fish. Much more water. They are having a blast. Let's get these in. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Here's our Jag. This is a beautiful, beautiful species right there. Look at that fish. Wow. Next one going in is a big old tiger Oscar. Look at that beast. They are some slimy fish, I tell you that. <laughs> that is so oh, sick. Oh, they just spit up dirty water. Yeah. Look at the fish going by. They're like loving it. They are loving <laughs> like it when in I here. tell you, they're like having a blast, they are. Look at the red belly on that. Straight down. That pump I put down there at the bottom, got this pond going in circles. That's why all these fish are just like. <laughs> Look at these fish. Just chilling like all of them. Oh, that's our rhino pleco right there. That is a beautiful fish. That's a baby tiger shoving those. Kind of, those are tilapia. You could leave them. Okay. Get this big paku. That's my biggest paku. Perfect shot right there, man. Perfect. What else we got in here? Another oh, paku? Another paku. There we go. Ah, he turned his head and got away. Catfish are gonna be the hardest fish to get out of here. Right now, we're once again just getting the smaller fish out. Look, Look at that. that thing. That is gorgeous. Wow. That is pretty, pretty a pit. dinosaur right there. Literally. And look at those spikes. Holy cow. That's incredible. That one's going in. Listen to his noise. Whoa. Look at this thing. Crazy looking fish. See ya, bud. This storm is a brewing, I tell you that. And we still got about 15 fish to get out of here. Oh yeah. That's a beast, that's a beast trying to splash me. Dude, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. I don't think we're gonna even be able to get the fish out of that big pond over there. Once they're in there, they're kinda in there and I believe they're gonna enjoy it in there. So I'm just gonna probably have to just get new fish for this. We'll see what happens, but I think we have a full empty new pool pond. They are called Rhino Placosmus. I mean, look at that fish in general, but because of that little horn at the top right there. Crazy fish and the coloration is actually just absolutely beautiful. It has that like light tint brown to it. See you, bud? There he goes. Shadow's in here doing his doing his thing. Oh, he's got the big paw coup. All right, Shadow. So when turn. I when I come to the PC farm, I just come to enjoy the animals. I don't come to do a dirty job. To look like, like that. Hey, I came to do white, a dirty you job. Wore, well, you wore the wrong color. color yeah, I guess yeah. so. But uh, let's get these fish in. Let's yeah, do uh, it. Dude, they are strong They fish. are strong. We're gonna make this one shot in. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. No. All right, hey, at least you landed in the pond. <laughs> we haven't had any bad fatalities yet to the concrete. All you see is massive shadows because the aerator is just pumping in front of them. But, I mean, look at them back there. We're gonna literally get in here one day and swim with them. If you think that's a dope idea and you wanna see me swim with these fish, let me know in the comments down below. I think one day, when they're comfortable, of course, I'm gonna hop in there and literally do some GoPro footage. Oh yeah, pristine. I'll see, you see you later, my dude. Absolute hosses of catfish. And I mean, these are very expensive fish too. Those white ones are very 
So, with that being said, not that we're not careful with the other ones, but we gotta be extremely careful with these because they cannot drop. Platinum red tail catfish going into the pond first. First catfish going in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now these guys are being well behaved. Look at that beautiful red tail on that platinum fish. Goes from that yellow to that red. I don't think I've ever really showed that. That is just a beautiful fish. And there it goes. I am so unbelievably happy that that fish is in there safe and sound. And there it goes. I am so unbelievably happy with that. We got one more of those and many other big monsters to put in. I mean, when we're talking platinum, that one's got a little bit of black. This one's like all platinum. Look at that. Beautiful. Stunning fish. Got that gold. I mean, look at that gold on its head. You get that on focus? There it goes. <laughs> but I mean, those fish are just like top notch. Very, very special fish to me. I mean, they just sit in the current. Do you see that? Oh yeah, they're hanging out. There's an amazing flow in this pond. There's so many Paku. I have five Paku, I didn't even know that. Look how big that red tail is, bro. There's no way we use this net. I gotta get that by my hand. Yeah, we gotta hand it. Dude, that is an absolute monster. Got an idea. Just kind of put their head in it. That's our new red tail. That's the one predatory just dropped off. Look at the size of this fish. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my God. Looks like a little something got to his whiskers, but see the fins how they're split? Yep. He might even getting beat up in there. But I tell you what, he's got a big home now. He'll grow everything. Whiskers will grow back nice and, you know, fins will grow back strong. I've had some catfish get the fins split like that through transportation purposes. And typically they heal very, like, very well. Oh Good yeah. Good job there, Paul. Like, what a pretty fish. Look at that. Whew. What a beautiful fish that is. Oh my God. That right there is the prettiest fish I own. A big old red tail catfish. That's what I'm talking about. We got that hybrid right there. That's a beautiful fish to get in still. Some red tails, the tiger shovel nose. That might be one of the hardest fish to get in there. Let me know down the, wow, look at that storm behind me. Let me know down in the comments down below what is your favorite fish that we have transported so far. If you're gonna ask me that question, I'm gonna go with the red tail catfish. Just the beauty in that fish. Colors, love it, and I love it. The fact that I grew them since they were this big too is an even better feeling. This, for those of you who are unfamiliar, is a melanistic gar all black tropical guard. I don't really want to get all this water in there. So what I'm going to do is this. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about right there. That's been the new technique so they can't jump out. God, please, man. There's a couple words to describe the transferring of all these fish. Hectic, stressful, that's about it. <laughs> Tiger shovel nose, eh? Oh, too quack, 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 quick. <laughs> you must have too many ducks. It's a little baby red tail. They death roll, man, like an alligator. Woo wee! This little guy, this used to be in my 160. We now have one that's about the same size as this one in there. Growing another one, of course. We always grow baby fish. All these fish, a lot of these monsters at least, I would say 80% of them. The other 20% is rescued, but the 80% I've grown since they were little babies. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> Talk about dirty job. I need to be on dirty job TV show. Dude, it's literally like seconds. The transfer from that pond to this pond, it's a lot of flopping and death rolling, but it takes like five seconds and they're in this pond. Tiger shovel nose right here. Boom. Look at all these fish. Time for a break? We don't have a break. There's a storm coming. We need to go. Yep. You only had one way to go. We got this one and one more. Don't fall in, Chad. <laughs> this is a marble Dakara. I have two of these. The next one is that same fish. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, we gotta no. do it quick. Last one. Go. <laughs> we got rain coming. Whoa, little slick. Golly, man. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about timing. It is downpouring. Once this rain stops, I'll pick up the camera. See you in three, two, one. 
Uh, it's the next morning. It's like 6.45 in the morning. I don't know why I'm up so early, I'll be honest with you. Early start to the day, I guess. But the pond is looking good. We got our marble Dakara. The Pakus coming around the corner here. Look at them all. I mean, it's clear now, so you can see everything. Hybrid cat right there. Tiger shovel nose coming around the corner, and it's so big, like you only can see so many fish at a time. Like all of them just like, you know what I mean? Hey, bud. Little gar action. All the Oscars are right there. Literally every single Oscars in a pile. And then fish are just stacked up in the back. See them all? I mean, they're just stacked up back there. Red tail. Look at that coloration. Look at them. There's a the jag cichlid. There's the carp thing. Look at all the fish. They're everywhere now. And they're only going to get bigger. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you haven't joined the family, subscribe down below. Become like a fairy. Don't miss out on stuff like this. We got another project going on. Once I remove all this trash right here, it's gonna go on like right here somewhere. Non-stop projects out here. And then the pond that I wanna build on this side of the yard, we are going to for sure have to get in here and swim with these fish as well eventually. Hop in there with a the GoPro. Look at them. Oh my God. They're already trying to eat out of my hand. This is insane, look. Oh my God, I love these fish so much. And they're just babies. Size-wise, these fish are just going to get massive in this pond. Yes, I am so stoked. So the fish transfer, it went good. We also gotta clean this out as well. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Rain or shine, we're doing this today, brother.